kami ng medical cannabis, 1.2 million. Sidetrack ako ha. Assuming kalahati ng populasyon natin ay babae. We actually, mas not more than half ang babae. Alam niyo po ba na 3% na kababaihan ay makakaroon ng breast cancer? 60 million times 3% is already 1.8 million possible based on the statistics na makakaroon ng breast cancer. Highest in the entire world ang um, prevalence of breast cancer in the Philippines versus other countries. Ano ang kinalaman nyo sa cannabis? Pain management. Gusto niyo bang mag-morphine? yung may cancer stage 4. Pasensya na po, baka ang krimenya, dumudugo na, umiiyak na sa sakit, hanggang sa bone, magmamorphin sila, magkatrama doon. O bigyan natin na medical cannabis, hindi sila lago, walang pain. Si Irvan Lalaki, 60 years old and above, one out of two ay meron ng prostate enlargement. Ibig sabihin, kapag hindi inagapan, it might lead to prostate cancer. At nakakaroon na rin ang possible na sakit. As an individual, I am here to represent our group, Seniors for Medcan Philippines, and all other seniors, patient or not patients, all 12 million of them in the Philippines who are in need or might be in need of this much debated medicine. Yes, desperately looking for a, another cure because of my daughter who suffered from an intractable form of epilepsy known as the base alone. It has always been my dream to look for an alternative option that would somehow improve the quality of her life. And because of that, after much prayers and contemplating, our quick media neurologist told us that there was no cure. Ko, ipasa na ang batas sa medical marijuana. Yan ang sabihin ko. Ano yung sasagot nyo? Ang sasagot nito. Ora mismo ngayon na.